flat out rejected. It's December 18th at 6.32 p.m. SDSU just came out. This is my first, well, I already got into the University of Hawaii, but this is like my first real one that I really care about. Okay. Okay. Wait, I'm scared. Wait. <laughs> everyone, everyone give it a kiss. Everyone give it a kiss. Tap. Oh. What? Wait. There. Wait, I think that's. Hmm? What is that? It's a, a video. What? <laughs> it's not measured by time. It is measured by moments. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> Good job. Yay! Wow. <laughs> the right Yay! Accepted. Accepted. <laughs> All right. Congratulations. Yay! I'm so happy. They made a video. Today is March 11th. This is Cal Poly. I'm not too stressed because I already got into SDSU, which is my current top choice out of all of the other schools that I got into. Sorry if you can hear my dog in the back. Here we go. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. <laughs> all right. I got it. Oh, good job. I got a video. Is there sound? Proving you're ready for Cal Poly. Okay, they get the idea. Yay, that's exciting! More yeah. options! Yeah. Just for a little update, so far we've gotten into SDSU and Cal Poly, as well as Long Beach and Fullerton. And then UCSB comes out on the 19th, along with probably all the other UCs. Oh yeah, and we also got into Hawaii. So the next time I see you will be on March 19th to open UCSB, which is really nerve-wracking. So I will see you then. Today is March 15th, UCLA and UCSD just came out. We're actually in Santa Barbara because I was not ready for this. So Sarah is here and Grant is here and they're being my emotional support or my celebration crew. So we're doing UCLA first. It's not an email. Mm -mm. I'm not making me nervous. I know. 2020. She got an email from UCSD though. Okay. And not from UCLA. Not even. Ugh, rejected. Mm. Okay. But that's okay. Yeah. That's okay because we have SDSU, but expected. Rejected you to unable. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So UCLA, flat out rejected. This is UC San Diego. And this one I got an email, so I don't know if that means anything, but. Um, oh, like... And oh. rejected. It's okay. But that's okay. It's okay. You're We're okay. <laughs> it's okay, guys. You know, when one door is closed, another one opens. <laughs> that's what we learned from this. Today is March 19th. Today is UCSB. And this is also my last college admission. Oh, I guess I applied to Berkeley. So we're still waiting on Berkeley, but that's not going to happen. That was just for fun. But this is the last one that I think I could maybe get into. But either way, I'm so happy with the schools that I've gone into. So I'm not too stressed. But this is the last one. So. <gasps> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Congrats. <laughs> oh, my God. Thank you what you see. <laughs> No way. No way. That's a whole lot of confetti on all of these acceptance letters. <laughs> <laughs> UCSB accepted. I have no idea what I'm going to do right now, you guys, because I thought that I was going to SDSU like 100% and now I have some thinking to do, but that's really exciting. Um, And I will see you guys for UC Berkeley. Yay! That was honestly unexpected. Hi guys. Today is April 16th. Berkeley came out. I didn't record it, but I got rejected, which honestly I really expected. 
and I'm so sorry I recorded my UCSB acceptance on the camera like high quality and everything and then I deleted it on accident so even though the quality was kind of bad that was really exciting and now it is a little bit later I've had time to tour all the schools I got accepted into really sit with the excitement and I've finally come to a decision before I share with you where I've decided to commit to for the next four years I thought I would just kind of go over my stats for anyone watching this video who is maybe thinking about college apply to college and is wondering where they might get into and is just curious about my stats for all of high school before I get into it I just want to preface everything is so individual every college looks at different things you have to consider ethnicity, PIQs, what you wrote about in your essay, your grade point average, what school you went to, what state you live in. Like there are so many factors that go into an acceptance or rejection, but this was just my experience with it. And here are my stats. My unweighted GPA for all of high school was a 4.0. So I never got anything less than an A. And then my weighted GPA was a 4.3 when you take in my AP classes and dual enrollment. Honestly, what I think helped me achieve this is just having really good study habits, turning in all of my work on time, and just really making sure that I was on top of any assignment and just making sure I was prepared for tests. I took five APs, two honor classes, and then two dual enrollment classes. So my APs were AP Lang, AP Calc my junior year, and then this year I'm taking AP Stats, AP Macro, and AP Lit. And then my two honors classes were IM3 STEM, which was a mix of pre-calc and calc. And then I also took honors chemistry my sophomore year. And then my two dual enrollment classes were kinesiology in sophomore year and business this year in senior year. If you're watching this and you haven't started applying to college yet, maybe you're like a freshman, sophomore, even junior, I cannot stress enough how helpful dual enrollment is. You get the AP credits without having to take the AP test and you only take the class for a semester. At least that's how my school works. If you have access to this, I cannot stress enough. Take advantage of it because it is so beneficial. It gives you the grade bump and you don't even have to take a test for it. So academically, those were my stats. Then I also did four years of leadership. So all throughout high school, I was enrolled in the ASB class. I also held two positions. I was a spirit commissioner and I am this year senior class president. Throughout high school, I've been involved in like a few clubs, but the ones that I really stuck to were CSF and Interact. And then I also was an athlete for eight years. I did competitive springboard diving. I was also dive captain for one year and I went to nationals and this was a very big portion of my life so even though I don't dive anymore that was a pretty big portion of one of my PIQs for the UCs and then of course another aspect that I talked about in my UC application specifically was YouTube and just doing social media as a career so overall those are my stats for high school when it comes to applying to college it's really helpful to know what colleges are looking at so for example I live in California the state schools that I applied to really only look at your grades you don't get any essays you don't get to explain yourself so that's where having a 4.0 and 4.3 was really helpful and then the UCs while you still have to have a high grade point average and meet a certain requirement from everything that I've heard from college counselors your extracurriculars are super super important because they really care about who you are as a student not just your grades that's the other thing that I did want to add when I was applying to my UCs and writing my PIQs I did get the help of a college counselor and honestly, while this is not necessary, I did feel like it was really beneficial to just how confident I felt in my essays. So just for a little recap, I got accepted into SDSU, Cal Poly, UCSB, Long Beach, Fullerton, and Hawaii Manoa. And then I got waitlisted at UCSD and then fully flat out rejected from UCLA and Berkeley. So those were all the schools I applied to. It honestly took me a while to decide what school I wanted to go to because obviously I got into some very exciting schools and everyone's gonna have their own opinions on the school that I chose and it was really hard to come to a decision because there's so many different factors that play into when you're choosing a school like location academics your major the people there the support that you're gonna have there the cost at the time that I'm posting this, the video is kind of coming out late, I feel like, but I really just wanted to make sure that I was fully confident in my decision and that I had a lot of time to sit with it and visit each campus, interact with the facilities, the students, and really just make sure that I was going to where I felt most myself. So, after 
lots of hard thinking, visiting, getting excited, and just learning about the schools. I can finally share with you guys that I committed to SDSU. <laughs> I am so excited to be part of the class of 2028. Go Aztecs. This might seem like a surprising choice to anyone who hears UCSB and wonders how I cannot go there because yes, it is the school with technically more rep. But honestly, the second I stepped onto SDSU's campus, I literally just felt so connected to it. I love the location. I love San Diego. And I just feel like there's going to be so many more opportunities for me there. Another large factor was that UCSB is very, very STEM focused and I really want to be a business major. So if I had went to UCSB, I would have had to major in communications and then try to work some economics into it. Absolutely no hate to communications, but that's just not what I was really passionate about. And SDSU actually has a business program, so ultimately that is why I chose this school. I could not be more excited. Wearing this t-shirt and knowing that college is figured out and this is where I'm going and this is where I truly feel like I'm supposed to be is just a crazy feeling because I remember the application process, the stress, waiting to hear back from all of these schools, feeling like the world would end if I didn't get into my dream school. And I'm just here to tell you guys like, you make it through. You will get into the college that is meant for you and you'll just know. Like when you step foot on the campus, you just can feel it that this school is meant for you. So I'm so excited to announce this. I literally couldn't be more excited. I've been getting a lot of DMs and messages. A lot of you guys have kind of been guessing because I was posting it on my stories. So if you guessed it, you were right. I am part of the STSU class of 2028. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe to stay tuned for all of the college content. I am so excited. It's definitely gonna be a big change, but I also could not be more excited. And I just feel like the college content is gonna take our relationship to each other just to like a whole new level. So I could not be more excited to share that with you guys. Um, I'm still gonna be trying to post two times a week and I know that I'm posting this like really early. Like I literally still have like probably four more months living at home, but I'm just so excited and I just wanted to let you guys know that like content isn't going to be changing up. I'm still going to be posting regularly and I'm so excited to bring you guys through this new phase of life with me. So that is my college decision. I'm so excited and I just want to say a big thank you to you guys for supporting me along the way. I've gotten so many kind messages about college, recommendations, and just I feel like everyone has truly been so supportive as I kind of slowly share more and more about college. But this is my final announcement. I committed to San Diego State. I was there over the weekend, truly fell in love with the campus, and I'm just so proud of my younger self for working so hard to get to where I am today to get accepted into these schools and I'm just feeling super grateful and excited for the future and I hope this video was helpful for anyone applying to colleges, thinking about colleges, where they might want to go, what they might want to do. So with that, I love you guys so much. I'm so excited to share the future with you guys and I will see you in the next one. Go Aztecs!